today on Divorce Court. I'm here today because I have a secret to tell my husband. Over the last 12 years, I feel like both of us have changed. Now she has her fitness thing she likes to do and I have my gaming thing that I like to do. He spends way too much time on his game system to get away from the real problems we have in our home. I have the potential to make hundreds of thousand dollars and provide a better life for us. He's just completely changed into an unmotivated, life-lacking person. It's just like he feels like he has me, he doesn't have to do anything for me. I'm not gonna stay and settle for that. I don't deserve it. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Jay Melendez and Ricky Lopez. The two of you have been together for 12 years, married for eight years, and you have one child together. You say your marriage is in trouble, and you've come here to uh, seek my advice and assistance. So, Ms. Melendez, I'm gonna start with you. Why don't you tell me a little bit about your marriage and how we got here today? Well, Your Honor, me and Ricky, we met when we were in high school. Um, he was my, he was a typical bad boy mm -hmm. that, you know, my parents warned me about and said, you know, we don't want you with a guy like him. He ended up being my high school sweetheart. We got married when I was 19 years old. I pretty much was infatuated with the fact of, you know, I wanted to have a family and just do the American, the, the American, American dream. dream. <laughs> and I made Ricky marry me. I told him, if you don't marry me, um, I don't want to be with you. Like, I want marriage. So... Weren't you scared? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I, I did put that on our relationship, and um, we did, we went serious way too fast. Now, seeing the time frame that we've been together, mm -hmm. growing into the adult that I've grown into, I see my life is kind of, I want different things. I, I've grown into a completely different person, and, you know, he... He's not cutting it for me right now. He's he's in trouble. Okay. Mr. Lopez, you're not cutting it. That's what she says. What what do you believe is wrong with your relationship? I feel like the things she complains about are not as big of a deal Please. as she makes what, it out to be. Hang on. What is what does she complain about? Like she mostly complains that I play my game too much. How much do you Your play? Honor. Stop. He... You will not interrupt me in here. I feel like I mean, I play a few hours a night when I get home from work. A few. How many is a few? A few to me is like two. <laughs> Eight to uh, midnight, three or four. Mm. He's lying. Three or four hours, what, what do you say is the, is the amount of he, time he spends on the game every day? He spends a good seven hours plus on his game. He every goes, day? Yes. Do you think that the game has at all sucked you out of the home? Even though you're present, you're not really there? I mean, yeah, when, when I'm playing, and you know I gotta concentrate because the reason. <laughs> yeah, he has to concentrate. The, re the reason we play it, I mean, it's not just to play like for fun. Like mm -hmm. we're playing to try to win. Like there's a lot of money on the line that we could win. And how much have you won so far? We haven't won anything so far. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, last year we got into the tournament. That if we would have won that tournament, the team takes home two hundred and fifty thousand mm -hmm. dollars, and it's thousands of teams competing to get into the tournament, and we got there. How many people are in the tournament? There are 16 teams of five people. Oh, so you had a one in 16 shot of coming away with the much. 250, yeah. $250,000. And, <laughs> and we didn't Let me ask you yeah. this, do you engage with your wife? Do you engage with your child, or, or, or do, you, do you simply engage with that game? I, I mean, I'm not just always on the game, like how she's saying it. It's impossible. I, I get off work at six o'clock at night. I come home. So that leaves two hours. That's that's 120 minutes for the family. You really think that's sufficient? It's not, but I mean. You don't care? She, I do care. And when I'm off on the weekend, like I'm with them all day too. On his game. But like she comes home from work and same thing, goes to the gym. Oh, wait. Leaves. Wait, 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 wait. That's the, another thing that I wanted to talk about. Ms. Melendez, you say that you think he's jealous. You gained a lot of weight when you got pregnant. Yes. And it seemed that he was trying to keep you heavy to keep you home. He Tell me about he that. He sure was. So I gained 100 pounds with my pregnancy. Mind you, I'm 5'2". I look like a sumo wrestler. Right. I was yeah. nice and round and right where he wanted me. I, little by little, started educating myself about how important it was because of health issues, how you have to eat healthy, work out, you know, 
do everything. Oh that, my! Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that was yeah. Whoa. There's, there's a big difference there. So I started educating myself, and I started going back to the gym and losing the weight. I started liking how I was feeling. I was learning different things. I was networking with different people. It was. So what was his response to that? He was just on his game. Like he, you know, I'm so, he, he, no, I'm proud of you. Like, wow, you know, you inspire me. Nothing. Like he's just sucked into this Does game. it bother him? My understanding is that you post pictures of your body a lot and that I you're do. out there and that, you know, you're doing something with it. And you say that he doesn't like it. Tell me, explain to me what he expresses to you about your activity. He says that I'm, I'm, craving attention too much. He says, he calls me an attention whore. And he tells me that the reason why I post those pictures is just so that I can date guys and get guys. Mr. Lopez, what do you have to say about that? Do, are, are you jealous? Are you worried about those pictures? It's not being jealous. Like, I supported her through the whole weight loss. I even, I used to go to the gym with her and everything, and I like to go lift weights. She would complain mm -hmm. that since I don't want to do the Stairmaster for an hour, that I'm just there to watch her and keep tabs on her. When that's not true, I'm mm -hmm. just on the other side right. lifting my weights. Do, are you concerned about her picture taking? Do you, do you I find am, that? Because there's a lot of guys on there posting, you know, sexual comments towards her, and I don't mm -hmm. like it. So what does she do? She blocks me so I can't see any of it. <laughs> Ms. Melendez, is that accurate? I did. I blocked him on all of my social media to avoid the drama, to avoid the, the negative comments he gives me. It's almost like he mentally and physically, um, he's like, he like wants to have control yeah. of every aspect of my life. But when I submit to him and I'm home and I make myself readily available, he's on his game and he doesn't care. What, what other things does he try to control? Because I haven't heard controlling yet. He sabotaged my, I was gonna do a fitness competition and he sabotaged the fitness competition. I had to drop out of it. Why? He was offering me cheesecake and cheese fries and he knows that I like bad food. Like you do not offer someone who is on a strict diet cheesecake and cheese fries. Was she trying to do a bodybuilding thing and you gave her cheesecake? She was, she was trying to, but I'm, I wasn't every day like, do you want this? How's she saying it? Every day. It? You can check his bank statement. His, the majority of his, the majority of his purchases are fast food. Most of his purchases are fast oh, food? Oh, yes. Do you cook at home? Yes, nope. for myself. For herself. For myself you don't and cook my for daughter. Him? No. I'll cook healthy for him and he'll order pizza at the end of the night. Oh, that's not what he wants. He wants to he, order fast food. Yeah. I want, I want real, want I want real food, not rice okay. and chicken every night. See? Rice and chicken is real food, you know. Yeah, but every single <laughs> night. Same thing. Every single night. Ri rice and chicken. Okay, let me I'm gonna go back to the gaming because I understand it's a real source of contention, so much so that you've broken his gaming system four times. Yes. <laughs> His attention to this game has made me feel alone in our marriage. It has made me feel like a single parent. I'm constantly just doing, going through the everyday motion with him just there. My understanding, Ms. Melendez, is you have become so exasperated with him and that gaming system, you've broken it four times. Explain that to me. Four times. He, every time he's in the zone on his game and I ask him to get up and do something for me, if, whether I need the garbage taken out or a dish wash, he's, hold on, five more minutes. Five minutes turns into two hours. So I've gotten up and I've snatched the game right out of the TV console and I threw it on the floor. Four times. Mr. Lopez, is that accurate? Yes. And your response to that would be what? There's nothing I can really do about it. Right, right. I'm not, I'm... I'm smarter than that, like I won't break won't, her won't, stuff. Yeah, right, right. Because right, I know right. she's just gonna have to buy it again. Right. And she doesn't think like that. So each time she's broken my game, I've literally gone to the store and had to buy another one. Yeah, let me ask you this. Do you see her level of frustration? Do you see at all that she's trying to engage with you and you're not available? I do. Do you think that's something you need to address? Because my understanding is she's always giving you excuses for not having sex. Yes. Mr. Lopez, let me tell you why you're not getting any. You're not getting any because you can't ignore a woman all day long like she's not there and then have her hot for you at night. Our brains don't work like that. You have mm -hmm. to show us love and affection during the day so if we feel like 
we are a part of your life and, and, and a part of you, because sex is not comp compartmentalized like that for us. You have to actually show up right before you want the good thing. But I mean, even like if I, if I try to spend time with her, like after work. 20 minutes. She'll tell me, oh, you're just gonna go get on your game. Why are you trying to be by me now? So it's like, mm -hmm. so, she so wants it you? to be all her and I don't get to play the game at all. If not, then so it's not happening. there's no one night during the week. Oh, baby, I'm gonna put that down. I'm yeah, let's let's. No, I don't. Be... I don't play every night. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, no, you I do. Don't. He is lying. I haven't played in. Lying. I haven't played in three days. You played Pokemon today. That's, he, that's okay. on my phone. If he doesn't play, <laughs> if he doesn't play his console, he plays different. He finds a way on his phone to have a game to be to concentrate yes. on. And it's an, completely ignoring me. Yeah, Mr. Lopez, are you you do you think you're an interesting dude? Do you think you're inter like like if if I were to go to your house and you you were doing what you normally do, would you be interesting? I'm interesting to the people who like watching. You're interesting. You're interesting to, to people a, who are interested in the same same yeah, things you're interested pretty much. in. But you're not interesting to anybody else. No, not that I know of. Yeah. You need to be interesting <laughs> to your wife. Do you okay. understand that? Yeah, I got you. Your Honor, Ms. Melendez, I believe I'm I'm going to talk to you, and I want you to tell me how his estrangement has affected you and what you believe it's making you do. Well, there's there's men that are out there men. that, that want to wine and dine me. I feel like if I am not getting the attention at home or if I'm not being taken out how I, I deserve to be, I can give my time to someone who appreciates it. Would you be suspicious if your partner blocked you on social media? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Ms. Melendez, what is his attention to the game? How, is that, how has it made you feel and what has it made you do? Your Honor, his attention to this game has made me feel alone in our marriage. It has made me feel like a single parent I'm constantly just doing, going through the everyday motion with him just there. I honestly have stepped out of my relationship and I've cheated on him. Whoa. Mr. Lopez, did you know that? I did not. Can you, can you tell me what the nature of the cheat was? Well, there's, there's men that are out there men. that, that want to wine and dine me. I feel like if I am not getting the attention at home or if I'm not being taken out how I, I deserve to be, I can give my time to someone who appreciates it. Are we talking numbers? Are we talking more than one guy? Two guys. Two guys. Different occasions. Different occasions, two guys. Have, have these encounters been sexual in nature? Yes. Are you currently seeing one of them? No, Your Honor, I don't have an emotional attachment because of the hopes and dreams that I have that Ricky's gonna change, but if at this point he's not willing to change and to work our marriage out and forgive me for the damage that he's done, I have to walk away. This did is you, not... Did you at least use protection? Of course. Okay. Of course. Don't say of course, because this is divorce court. <laughs> <laughs> I have been in here with more great babies. You know, I, I just saw her one time and now I'm a daddy, you know, so. Now, Mr. Lopez, I'm gonna give you a minute. Do you think you can overcome? This is a save my marriage. Do you think your marriage is savable given this information? I don't even know. Are you surprised by it? I'm, I mean, not really, sadly. I, I'll, because it's I have exactly to like what I said. Stop, 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 stop. Exactly Let's like see. what I've said. The whole doesn't want me on her social media, acting like she's single. Mm -hmm. And that stuff. I don't I, so you, you, you were seeing signs of it, is what that you're saying. That stuff I accuse her of, and. She tells me I'm crazy and that I'm trying to control her when she won't have she won't have sex with me, but she'll you're, do it with a random guy because he takes her out for dinner. No, you're on. But there's no but there's no emotional attachment. But for he, me, it won't happen because there's I'm not, no emotional yeah. connection. How I'm with many, you. What do you have to say? How many years has he been on this game, putting me through this? How many years has I have I waited? How much longer do I have to give him? How many more chances do I have to give him before? For, to, to, for him to realize that I'm just done, like... Are you done? Do you have an ultimatum here today? 
he, is there something that you must have in order for this relationship to continue? I need his full attention. I need him to work on our marriage and leave the game alone. And if he's not willing to do that, then we have to just call this quits because it's not going to work out. Mr. Lopez, are there any compromises you're willing to make with respect to that I game? I told her before that if she got off her social media and gave up on that whole thing, that I would, I would stop playing my game. Mm. He's I'm not, asking I'm not going to give up my goal please. of what I want to do, my dream, be, and let do her do Do you want her. her to stop doing that just because it feels more fair, that if I got to stop my stuff, you got to stop your stuff? Yeah. Or is that, well, that's just silly. Mm -hmm. uh, and why, and, and why you should... just wrong, huh? I'll tell you why it's silly, and I'll tell you why you're wrong. Could you forgive your partner for cheating on you twice? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. You guys got married too young. I honestly believe that. Ms. Melendez, when you get married to somebody, that marriage that you want, you need to honor that. And I don't care mm -hmm. if he's not paying attention to you or not. There is no excuse for stepping out on him like that. You don't want to be married to him. You bop on down to the courthouse and you file for divorce, but you have absolutely no right to stick your foot outside of that marriage and find comfort elsewhere. Mr. Lopez, you caused that. It wasn't right. She's done it before but, but, as well. well but, but I understand that. But, but if you're going to be married, you have to engage in that marriage. The marriage will wilt and die if you do not feed it. You are not feeding the marriage. You're working and you're doing the game and she's kind of in an orbit around you, but you're not really participating in the marriage with her. So that's why she's doing it. The thing about, well, I'll get off my game if you get off Facebook, that's just silly. That's a child's point of view. If the social media is taking her away from the family for a substantial period of time, then both of you do need to stop. But it's just like, if I can't do what I want to do, you can't do what you want to do. What you have to do is everything in moderation. It's not like I give it up. It's like maybe it's an hour of my day. Maybe it's a couple of hours on the weekend, but you got to actually be a husband and a father. You know what I mean? It's not. You actually have to be a, a husband and a father. Yes, there is some. Uh, pie in the sky potential for this thing to be a money maker, but it's very few that make it. And it, if you didn't, if you didn't know what it was to be a husband because you were 19 when you got married. And part of that's a function of the fact that you gave him an ultimatum. You should have said no. But, 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 but that's what happened when you marry a 19-year-old boy. So when he doesn't progress into manhood, that's kind of where he's stuck. So I will say that. But I say, now that you're here, now that you're married, now that you're grown, you need to respond in a grown manner. I, I, whether or not you can forgive her, I don't know. And Ms. Melendez, whether or not he can give up the game, I don't know. But I think you both need to step up your game as far as maturity is concerned and at least see a marriage counselor on behalf of that child so no matter what happens in the next chapter of your life, you can conduct it with some kind of sense of sameness and rationality, all right? I wish you the best. This matter is adjourned. I don't feel sorry for the actions that I've taken because he did provoke me. I, as a woman, I'm not gonna sit home and twiddle my thumbs and hope that this guy changes when I've been stuck in the same situation for years. Something's gotta give, and if that didn't do it for him, then I don't know what will. I'm not really sure if she can be faithful or not moving forward, but all I can do is do my best to be good to her and treat her good and hope that I could trust her.